Hey everyone, in today's video we take a look at the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. This is a criminally underrated, super lightweight day pack that you can take with you when you're going traveling. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster. We do guides and walkthroughs, bring you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, you're interested in this sort of content, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell, and even subscribing to our newsletter. Let's dive in and check out the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. Now I've actually already done a number of videos on the Tortuga Outbreaker backpack, so if you wanna check out those bags, head over to our channel, click the Tortuga playlist, or you can just click the link above right now. And so as mentioned, there are a number of videos inside the Outbreaker family itself. There is the Outbreaker travel backpack, which includes a 45 liter and a 35 liter travel backpack. They're really good for one bag travel. They're really decked out for that sort of thing. And then next there is the Outbreaker laptop backpack, which is slightly smaller, really good for business trips and has some travel capabilities. And then there's this one, the Outbreaker day pack. This is a really lightweight 21 liter backpack and works really well if you take this with you. It can flat pack and fit inside those other travel backpacks. So instead of lugging those big bags around, you can actually take this out, pack it with all your travel essentials and go for a day trip. Okay, so looking at the materials of the day pack, we have a VX03 waterproof sailcloth. So it's a very lightweight, very crinkly, durable material. It's got that X-Pack sort of appearance to it. The lightweightness of that material as well as its thickness really helps it pack down flat when you are taking it traveling. As for other hardware, we've got YKK weather resistant zippers and also Duraflex buckles. Now in terms of a silhouette, it still has a relatively boxy aesthetic similar to the Outbreaker travel backpacks, but it is slightly curved around the edges there. And on the front face of the bag, we've got that rubberized Tortuga logo once again, and the embossed logo on the zipper pulls. If we turn to the sides of the bags here, we've got these stretchy mesh water bottle pockets that will stretch out to fit out your water bottles, as well as keeping flush on the bag when not in use. It's very similar to a sort of four-way stretch material. Here I have a 16-ounce Stanley travel tumbler there. It'll fit in there nice and flush. You might have a bit of struggle fitting a 32-ounce Nalgene in there, but for all intents and purposes, good to store a water bottle in there, and it's really good to see two water bottle pockets on a pack or bag like this. Coming around to the back of the bag, we have our harness system. Taking a look at the harness system, we've got a fairly decked out harness system, considering this is meant to be a sort of packable, flat packing bag that you simply take out of your travel luggage for those day trips. This is actually a pretty padded harness system here. We've got Aria Preen foam along the shoulder straps as well as the back panel. You can see that the shoulder straps are nice and thick. They contour so they fit ergonomically on the body. And you can see that perforated mesh inside there so it's nice and breathable. That'll provide a lot of airflow. Not only that, we've also got a sternum strap in the middle here. It is removable. It's a Duraflex sternum strap. Just provides that extra bit of stability to your load. And then your typical Duraflex ladder locks at the bottom there. Two loops up here so you can add additional accessories if you want to. And then a hall handle on the top, very simple. If we come to the back here, we've got slightly thicker Aria Preen foam here. And we've got nice channeling just to provide more airflow. This level of padding is something that you might not even see on a regular everyday carry backpack, let alone a packable travel backpack. So really good to see this sort of thing on this bag. Okay, so with all the external features out of the way, we've got two compartments to the bag. We've got one smaller compartment here for quick access to your smaller items and then our main compartment at the top. So I've just flip this weather flap here, you can see a water resistant YKK zipper there. So very water protective. This is a small little area to store your smaller items. So I've just got some Sunski polarized sunglasses as well as an iPhone 12 with a moment case. I've got some field notes, I've got a Bellroy flip case for just some of those essential cards, as well as an Oz Air Airflex Merino mask, a little pen from Big Eye Design, and then some Jaybird Vista 2 wireless earphones. There is also a little key leash that you can attach your keys to. So here I just have my Orbit key there. And that's all we've got inside this compartment. You can see that nice bright white gray internal lining there. That's a nice ripstop liner and it will be protective, but also provides visibility to what you've got inside there very helpful. Now at the top we've got our main compartment again with the YKK water resistant zippers. Grey internal lining so you can see everything that's inside. Now the stuff that I've got packed inside here isn't really what you would pack the bag with if you're going for a day trip 
while traveling. This is more of an everyday carry sort of loadout and that just goes to show what you can carry inside this bag that is geared towards travel but can be used as an everyday backpack as well. So here I've got some wireless earphones from Bayer Dynamic. I've also got a Moment Tech organizer for my cables. And then I've just got a little down jacket from Arcteryx. This is the Arcteryx Atom Lightweight Hoodie. And then I've got a Sonos portable speaker. So that's all the items we've got inside that main cavity there, but you can see there are some tablet sleeves here secured down by Velcro. We've got a tablet sleeve that can fit up to a 9.7 inch tablet. Here I have a remarkable two writing tablet, really useful tablet. And here in the laptop compartment, I've got a 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina inside a Rush Faster laptop sleeve just for that extra bit of protection because this is a pretty structure free bag. So having that extra protection really just goes a long way to gives that peace of mind. This laptop compartment will fit up to a 15 inch laptop. It has very light suspension from the base of the bag, hence why we've got that protective laptop sleeve. But for all intents and purposes, you can carry a laptop and a tablet and all these other everyday essentials inside this bag. Let's also go ahead and see how capable this bag is in fitting tinny six packs by conducting a rush faster beer capacity test. Again, this is a 21 liter backpack. Let's see how it goes. So put two in there. And looks like it can fit another two to total our 460s six pack tinnies. There you go, very capable of fitting four six pack tinnies, super lightweight. Now I wouldn't recommend carrying six pack tinnies in a bag like this just because it's not really geared for that sort of thing. But 21 liters of volume capacity, a flat packing pack or backpack can still fit the same amount of tinny six packs that a lot of everyday backpacks can carry as well. Very impressive. Okay, so this is the day pack on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10". Well, everyone, that is the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. It's so criminally underrated. It's got 21 liters of volume capacity. It can fit a 15 inch laptop as well as a tablet and only weighs just over a pound. It has a really padded harness system considering what it is. And most of all, it can flat pack inside your rolling luggage, your duffel or your travel backpack. So you can leave that at your destination, at your accommodation and just take this out for your day trips. If you're interested in getting this bag or anything else that you've seen in this video, there are affiliate links in the description below. Below. If you use those links, they go a long way to support the work that we do here on the channel at no extra cost to you. And if you want to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to our newsletter. But most of all, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this bag? What do you think about its capabilities, especially in comparison to similar backpacks? And if you want to see more videos from us, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack. Take care, and we'll see you next time.